from Beyond Motion, back with another great little workout from Bar Motion. Bar Motion is a cardio bar class that I designed several years ago to give all of my Pilates clients exactly what they needed to transform their bodies within a few short weeks. So you took all of your posture and alignment from Pilates and everything that you love from dance and let's put them together. This little segment that we're doing today, really all you need, I have a ballet bar, but at home if you don't have a ballet bar, you need a stable chair with a higher back. I'm wearing toe socks today against our floor, which offers me a little bit more grip and support, but if you're using a sock and a carpet at home, that'll work just fine too. So let's begin. The first thing we're going to do today is come to a first position. Now, if you're a professional ballerina, your first position might have a very significant turnout of almost 180 degrees. Not being a professional ballerina, mine's going to be turned in just a bit. So in our bar motion classes, we make sure that we have a nice V between the feet and that when you line yourself up for a plie or a demi plie, your knees will bend out over your last few toes. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take your hand on the top of the chair and the other hand at your hips so you can feel if your pelvis and your hips are level the whole time. I want you to imagine that the crown of your head reaches up to the sky and your tailbone comes down to the floor. Make your chest and shoulders as wide as you can that are equal in the front and back of your body and pull your navel back towards your spine. Imagine zipping jeans that are just a little bit too tight. So keeping this night straight body line, you're going to place your hand on the top of the chair or the ballet bar. Now what we always do in class here is as you're pressing down, think of using the top part of your hand here where your fingers connect to your palm. And as you press down here, you'll feel all of your side body muscles, which we call the bra strap muscles, become engaged and going to work. They'll help keep your shoulders away from your ears and your body nice and erect. So place that hand slightly in front of your body and let the elbow dangle down toward the floor so your shoulder stays away from your ear. Let's go into a diamond shape or in first position a basic demi plie. So as you come down you want your knees to travel over your third and fourth toe. You never want your knees to roll forward over your first toe or your big toe because it puts a lot of pressure underneath your knee. So let's try this for 10. You're going down as you inhale and stretch back up. Now as I come back up again I feel that I'm pushing away from the floor. So here's five as I stretch using all the toes on the floor. Here's seven, the tailbone goes down, eight, two more, nine, one more, and ten. Good. So as I'm down into this demi plie, you can notice there's a diamond shape between the legs. Make sure your tailbone stays down and your belly is nice and in. Let's come down and hang out in this position for a minute. I want you to pulse and press. So as you pulse, let's work for push and pull. Think of that as being your pulse. There's small little movements, your navel's to your spine, and you're pushing those knees out and squeezing in. Out and in. Let's do five more. Here we go. So here's five and four and three, navel to spine, two and one. Now notice as you're doing this, your pelvis stays nice and still. So you're not over tipping forward, which puts too much pressure on your knees, or tipping back, where it's creating an arch in your low back. So we're going to keep this nice and still. All right, let's add an additional challenge here. I want you to come down into your lowest point where your knees are over your last few toes and take your hands to your outer hip and thigh. And from this position, keeping your belly nice and tight, I want you to press those legs out and pull them in just a little bit, keeping the feet flat on the floor. So you're going to press and pull and press and pull. Now as I'm pushing those legs out and you can see the knees go out slightly to the side, nothing else is moving, my abs are nice and tight, body's nice and lifted, belly to the spine. As I'm pushing outward, I feel all of those muscles in the outer hip and thigh and glute go to work. Press. So some of these muscles help with that lift so your tushy gets nice and lifted and round. We have three more here and two. I'm starting to feel the burn already and one. Perfect. All right, so we're going to add yet another challenge to this. Are you ready? We're going to releve and lift those heels. Now I want you to get into the sensation of a releve. So come back down again and into that releve what you want to feel is all ten toes in the ball of the foot pushing you down or pushing down as you lift up. So we're going down and up. Down. Notice that I still have this slight demi plie between the legs, that slight bend of the knee. Two more. Now I'm going to straighten the legs down and lift. So this releve, this lifting upward, the heel comes slightly forward to the front part of the body. My heels are squeezing together like they've been glued. And the higher I lift, I need to make sure that my toes stay on the floor. My hand is still on the ballet bar, shoulders are down, and lift. Three more here. One 
and to, by the way, I can feel this, I hope you can too, one more time, all the way at the top. Beautiful. So now you're in a releve, you're still in first position, you've zipped your tight jeans and the heart is lifted high. We're going into the demi plie from here. You're taking it down and up. So how far down you go depends upon how strong your core is, how flexible your body is, and how good your posture is in this position. So you never want to tip your body forward or reach it too far back. So let's do five more. Here's five. And four, in case you're wondering, my calves are shaking. Three, so you're not alone at home. Two, one more here, and hold it down. So remember that push back we did with flat feet? Now we're gonna do it from here, and press back. Here's two, three, see those knees? Four, body stays still, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, and 10. Shoulders are down, hand is still on the ballet bar, belly button still in. We're going lower, two counts down. You're going down, down, up, one, down, down, up, two, down, down, up, three, down, down, up, four, down, down, up, five, one more down, down and up. Can you see the shake? I'm coming down and holding. Okay, I'm gonna push back again for eight, seven, six, bellies in, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna bring the heels down and come back up to stretch. Beautiful. We're adding one of my favorite moves. It's called a tick-tock. I want you to think of a grandfather clock and the pendulum swinging from side to side. Your upper body will stay in control and completely quiet. You'll come back into that releve. Shoulders are down, belly is in. Tailbone is reaching to the floor, crown of the head reaches to the sky. Making sure that you're breathing and that you're keeping the shoulders relaxed. So again, that hand is on the ballet bar and you're engaging your side body. We're coming down into this demi-plie again. Yes, my calves are already shaking. I bet yours might be too. The heels come slightly forward and again making sure your knees are over your last couple of toes. Belly buttons to your spine, take your other hand to your hips so you can feel where you're moving from. We're going to start with a tick tock, just side to side without moving the body in any other direction. Tick tock, tick tock. So sliding back and forth versus pushing forward and back making sure the abs are tight, the belly buttons to the spine, and really nothing else is moving. So let's do eight of these, ready? It's eight, seven, six, squeeze those heels, five, feel your tushy, four, it's burning, three, two, and one, and back to center. All right, let's add one more challenge. If you're happy where you're there, stay there. If you want more, follow me on more. We're going down, ready? So it's down, two, three, four, up, two, three, again, take it down, two, three, four, and up, two. So now you're adding that balance challenge. The calves are definitely working, the belly's nice and tight, and you've got the shift for four, three, two, one, and up, two, three, four, two more, down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, last time, and down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, and hold. All right, we're going forward, forward, back, back on this next one. So we're going forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back. So you're shifting that pelvis, and you'll feel a small stretch as you do so. Four more, front, front, back, back. You're kind of sticking your booty back behind you out there, feeling that stretch. Last one here, forward, forward, back. All right, let's add the circles. If you've ever done a hula hoop in your life, this should be a piece of cake for you. Hand in the bar, belly to your spine, and we're going around for four, three, two, reverse, still have that diamond shape, heels are still in releve and together. And three, and four, lift it nice and tall, bring it all the way back down again. Very nice. All right, we're going to add on a kick. This is one of my favorite kicks. It's a variation of Grand Batma, and I always like to think of it calling a brush kick. So think of having some paint behind you, and your floor and your wall being your canvas, and you're going to paint. We're actually going to start with the outside leg. So again, the hand is on the ballet bar, shoulders roll back on top of your ribs, and the belly is lifted back toward your spine. Kneecaps are lifted, and the feet are flat on the floor right now. I'm going to take my outside leg and bring it to the front to keep my hips level, and then I'm going to brush it all the way behind. Think of using the inside of your foot. So you're going to dip this foot in your paint, and you're going to paint and brush against your canvas and come back again. Now, we're going to add one more move. So press up, and on the way back, I want you to push this heel down to the floor for this variation to elongate and stretch the back of your leg. Let's do it again. Up and down. Abs are nice and tight. Here's three. 
You only want the leg to come up to the point where you can keep your hips level and you're not arching in your low back. Press and back. Four more. One and back. Two and back. Three and back. And four and back. And pull it back in. Let's take it to the other side. Very often I'll have the girl switch to the other side of the bar or turn the chair around, but let's just take it from here. If you have enough space, otherwise turn your chair on the other side and it'll free up the inside leg. We'll take the leg behind. Again, go ahead and press that heel down. Notice that your front knee bends slightly. Your hips are still on center and your shoulders are down. You're coming up and back. Up. Now, if you can get your leg to go very high, but your hips start to move, it takes it out of the alignment. If you come back and you keep your heel lifted off the floor, that's okay, but by bringing it down, you get that extra stretch on the way back. Breathe for four and three and two and one. And those are always great to do after you've done a whole lot of the releve foot positions so your calves get a chance to stretch a little bit. All right, let's add one more challenge in here. If you're ready, follow me for the next one. You're actually going to turn toward your chair or toward your ballet bar. You're going to have your hands about shoulder distance apart. You always want to make sure that your head is lifted and never dropped below hand so that you can breathe a whole lot easier. Make sure your shoulders are sitting on top of your ribs and your belly button's lifted to your spine. Think of the crown of the head reaching away, being pulled like a string. We're going to call this the booty blast. And trust me, everybody wants a little bit of a booty blast at least once a day. So, here we go. Think spring, summer, and bathing suits. Your feet are coming to the front. We want to use the outside leg to start. Shoulders are back and down. Fingertips are extended, and I'm pressing down on the bar to lift up, belly to the spine. Slight little bend and softening the knees. I'm going to take the left leg behind me, tap, and lift up. Tap and lift. So I'm on a diagonal. Lift. Tapping behind the right leg and lifting. So let's do eight. Down for one, and two, and three, and four. Here's five, and six. Here's seven, one more, and eight. Beautiful, bring it all the way back in. Give one little slight bend to shift to the other side. Let's take that right leg over on the left. Tap down to the toes on the floor, shoulders are down, belly is in, and lift. Tap, tap. So I'm keeping my arms and elbows nice and straight. My hands lined up with my shoulders. My abdominals are definitely working. Seven, okay, let's last set of eight here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and pull it back in. Very nice. And open it back up. So it's just a little bit of a workout for today to give you just something to work on for your morning or evening and a little bit more from bar motion. So try this three times a week and let me know what you think. We love looking at the comments below. See you again real soon. Have a great day, everyone.